Earlier in a video about NAT or network address translation, I mentioned that my internal PCs are going to have IP addresses that come from a private address space. And in this case, I used 10.0.0.0 slash 16. Don't worry about what the slash 16 means. For now, just know that it means that all of these devices are going to start with 10.0 and then something. So who decides which PC is going to have what address? Well, it is certainly possible for me to go in manually and set all of these up. We would call that a static address. I could say on this PC that you are 10.0.0.1, you're 10.0.0.2, and so on. But there is a better way to do it, and that is the DHCP protocol. Now that stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So if you think about that, dynamic, which means it takes place in real time and can change with time. Host Configuration. So it is going to configure these hosts with the IP address that they need. And if I add devices, it can assign a new number to those devices. If I take one device out and replace it with another, it can assign either the same or a new IP address to that new device. DHCP can be run by this router. It's also very possible that we could run it from inside our organization by putting DHCP on a server and letting the server hand out IP addresses as we will. The only thing is we have to be sure that if we turn it on on one of these that we turn it off on the other. And we will configure DHCP with the set of addresses that we want to give out. We'll tell DHCP I want to give out addresses from 10.0.0.1 to 10.0.0.50, for example. And it will hand those addresses out and make sure that only one device on that network has a unique address at any given time. So DHCP can run on either of these. It's common uh, to be on both of them or on, on uh, either one although it's probably a little more common for it to be on servers than it is on routers. And so that is the DHCP protocol.